And for more, we're now joined from Nairobi by political analyst Nanjala Nyabola. Thank you for joining us, sir. So people are hoping that the election will usher in stability in the country, but are you optimistic about this? Okay. I, th I think it's very difficult to know if we should be um, optimistic about this election and what impact it might have. Um, it's, it's, the Central African Republic has a history of instability and has a history of generally um, a lot of political upheaval since independence. This will be the 13th administration that's been ushered in, which makes it very difficult to pin all the hopes of resolving all those systemic issues in a single election. Um, I think the, the thing that is most needed in the country is actually just a lot of time and a lot of investment. Uh, this is a country that has also been very much ignored and neglected by global politics, by international donors, by the international community. And I think what's really needed is time and patience to give the democracy a chance to, to flourish, to invest in institutions, to invest in communities, and to allow things to actually happen in the country that have probably never had a chance to happen in the past, that democratic sort of consolidation. And ma'am, how important is stability in the Central African Republic and also for the region and for Africa? I think it's very important. Um, the Central African Republic is in a very tough neighborhood. It's surrounded by c countries that are actually suffering from their own types of conflict, whether you're talking about the DRC or Cameroon, Boko Haram with Cameroon, um, with Chad, with the rebels in Darfur and in South Sudan. And what, has, what we've seen happening with the conflict is that it has led to some of the largest population movements in the region's history. So these are refugees who are already fleeing a very vi violent conflict, heading into countries that are in themselves very violent and enduring their own systemic conflict. So, you know, one quarter of the country's population has been displaced and they're now living in very precarious situations. I think the stability in the Central African Republic is actually a really key issue that especially the African Union and other African governments need to focus in on. Without that, we're going to continue to see some of the longest running conflicts in the continent's history, whether they're talking about South Sudan or Sudan or the DRC, we're going to we're facing the very real risk that these conflicts will endure almost indefinitely and that's just not, a, a, it's an unacceptable and untenable situation. Thank you very much for your analysis. That was Ms. Nanjala Nyabola in Nairobi. Appreciate it.